how to sell. As a woman, being smart is dangerous, unless you cut it with sexy. It seems trivial, but chalk it up to the thousands of unspoken but shared truths between mothers and daughters. This goes against all of what I've taught you, but you will need to learn to walk in heels too. I know, I refuse to let you buy your own pair. You are only 12. They will leave blisters on your feet, aggravate your athlete's foot, and destroy your posture. But in your 30s, heels will be essential to closing any deal, pharmaceutical, salary negotiations, even editorial board meetings. When your foot grows to my size, I will give you my heels. Frugality cannot be overrated in our family. We'll pass the heels through generations, mother to daughter. Your cunning will guide you, but never underestimate the power of curb appeal. Show the right amount of skin. Sexy, not slutty, is imperative for success. Men want to feel that rush when looking at you, wondering if you are wearing underwear. Stand with confidence. You cannot be bought. Your attention must be earned. They will like this. When negotiating with a man, always start with his need. Be soft. You are decorative first. This will make him feel comfortable when you start to show your intelligence. If the idea is powerful, let him think he thought it first. Top negotiations generally come back to men. They hold a monopoly on global power. Pay attention to tone. Appear gentle. You must never be a threat. It is okay to take charge. Men love it when you do the work as long as you are working for them. Let him offer you advice. Tell him he is right. Smile, cross your legs. Always wear makeup for photo shoots or videos. This is non-negotiable. Pay for professional photos early on. We live in a digital world. You must be strategic about your online presence. By the time you are an adult, the material world may be fully absorbed into cyberspace. Stay away from prints and heavy jewelry in photos. Natural light is more powerful than artificial. This will remain true into the future. Never forget the power of the sun. Try not to be afraid of your power. You cannot sell anything when you are afraid. I learned this early on canvassing door to door. People decide in the first half second when they open that door whether they will give you money or not. Your pitch is important, but not as important as your confidence. You must believe they will give you money. This accounts for 96% of sales. As a woman of this world, things are stacked against you. You will do 70%, 75% of the work, receive 10% of the pay, and own 1% of the property. You will defy these odds, but you must use everything you have to do it. I will help you. Fear is your biggest enemy. Never let yourself be victim. You must not let them take from you. This will be more difficult in the years ahead. You will likely be broken. You may already be broken. You are 12. You are a girl. We live in America. You might never tell me your mother, though if you have been hurt, it was likely by someone we both know. I have been terrorized by this fear since you were born. Men are mostly the threats here, the ones we are closest to. You do not have to allow inappropriate behavior or comments. This will take time to learn. You are still young. Men will rub themselves against you in crowded buses. They will grab your breasts in broad daylight. You will want to believe it was not intentional. They will deny that they were ever hard. They will tell you that you are crazy. You may never find the words anyway. You may start to think you imagined it. You might start to think it was your fault. Somehow you led them on. Do not apologize after being raped. This may seem ridiculous to you, but it is possible. Believe me, do not apologize after being raped. It is okay to walk out on a man after having sex, particularly if you made it clear that you weren't in the mood. You can leave while they are sleeping. You can just pull your jeans on and walk out the door. You don't have to say anything. 
You may choose to drink during this time. You may get tired of saying no. You may eventually fall in love, but be careful. If you have been broken, it will be easy to become the victim. You will find yourself trivialized. You may be showing too much skin. You will be ashamed to wake up in the morning. It is easier to maintain your power when you have not been violated. You will not be afraid. You will not acquiesce as easily. You will be able to be coy and smooth, thwarting unwanted advances. You will peel hands off your ass. You will learn to keep your elbow out on the bus. You will cram your elbow into his bulging stomach to keep him from pressing his hardness into your ass. You will learn not to be shy about this. You will push men away as they get close, whether you know them or not. You will not let seemingly old, harmless men touch your biceps in the park because that is too close to your breast and you have learned that they are never too old to grab you. Men are never too old. You will never be too young. It is a timeless law. You will become of legal age. It doesn't matter how old they are. They will always believe they are entitled to leer at you. You will find the joy of having your own man. You will get lazy and adjust to the ease. You will adorn yourself for him. You will understand his pleasures. He will uncork your passion. You will make sure you smell sweet. You will start to age. Time must be spent on cultivating your beauty, the birthright of youth ages. I will be an old woman and I will give you my heels.